Okay, in this particular chapter, we learn on how you can attach an extra disk to your instance. So let's see how we can do that. But before that, let's create our instance. Let's click on create instance. And again, we'll create it as an E2 micro. And we'll have a boot disk and we'll make this as standard. Now this I'm doing so that this falls under the, under the free tire. Now, apart from this, I need to go to this drop down, and what I need to do is I need to add this. So I'll click on add disk and I'll add a new disk. So this will again be a not a balanced persistent. So I want to make it as cheap as possible. So I'll just make it as a standard persistent disk. And the size I will leave it as minimum. So let's make this as 10 GB. And let's click on save. Now, I do not want to take a snapshot out, out of this, so I've just left the snapshot as uh, disabled. So let's, so if you go down, you can see that there's a snapshot schedule. It's recommended, but for this particular exercise, let's not do it. I'll do it for some upcoming exercise. So let's leave it as it is currently. So let's click on cancel. And all that I need to do now is just create this particular instance. So let's click on create. Okay, once your instance has been created, we need to log into our instance. So let's SSH into it. So let's click on SSH. And after we've done this, we need to run a few commands. So to do that, let's go into the documentation on how to create and attach a disk. The, so the first command that you need to run is this particular command. So this will give you a list of all the devices, this that are attached to your instance. So let's copy this. And let's paste it in our shells. And let's paste it here. And here is the new disk that we need to mount. So this is the disk. So the next, okay, so after you run this command, so the next command that you need to run is you just need to format the disk. So to format the disk, you need to use this particular MKFS command. And this command will format your particular disk. And you can also use the ext4 file extension to format the disk. And there's also another slash E cup flag that you need to use. So this is the entire command. So you can just copy this verbatim. And all that you need to do is you just need to change this device name to STB. So let's do that. So here I have the complete command. So let's copy this and let's paste it in a console. Okay, I've done that and we've formatted our particular disk. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is I need to create a directory. And on top of that particular directory, I will mount this particular disk. So let's see how we can do that. So this should be fairly straightforward. So again, the only thing I need to do is I need to create a directory. So let's copy this command. And again, let's paste it in a notepad. Now these commands I will link in the description below. So you can always use it. Uh, so let's just call this as my disk. So this will create a folder, uh, sorry, a directory by this name. So let's copy this and paste it in a Okay, so we've done this as well. So the only thing remaining now is just to mount it on this particular directory. So let's go back to our documentation again. And this is a command that you need to use. So let's copy this once more. And let's paste this. And here you need to change the device name. So the device name, I will just replace it with STB. So this is the device name. And the disk and the and the directory name is this. So I just copy this. I paste it here. And let's paste this particular command now. Okay, so we've done that as well. So let's go to this particular directory. And let's do a df dot. And you can see that there is 10 GB data available for this particular directory. Let's try to store something right now. So let's do a touch ABC. Okay, so you can see that it has been denied permission. So we need to give permissions as well. So to do that again, let's go back to the documentation once. And a final command is you need to give a pseudo chmod read write permission on that particular disk. So let's copy this command. And I'll paste this as well. And this will be my disk. So this is basically the directory. I'll copy this. And let's run this particular command. Uh, 
Okay, so now let's see if you are able to create a file. And now you can see that it works. So that's how simple it is to mount a new disk in your GCP virtual machine. So I hope this was a useful lecture. Now these commands I will give in the description below so you can easily access them. So I will see you in the next chapter. So I hope this is a useful chapter. I will see you in the next.